Good morning. We think about, like, why do we want to play, you know, in every regard? It's the music, but you just want to play. Why do you want to play? Well, it just comes out. It's part of our nature. It's just natural. You know, you ask kids, they're playing, and you say, what are you doing? And they're like, we're playing. And, and you go like, but why are you playing? And, and they don't, they kind of freak them out, like, why are we playing? As I started to learn hatha yoga, even as a boy, I got pretty stuck with the technique. You know, I thought this is, I, I really wanted to master the technique. And I found myself, as I got so involved with that, that the play of the practice started to be diminished. But I mean, I could totally line up every part of my body, you know? Exactly. But the joy had been squelched. So, 11 years ago, one of the things I thought, look, why can't we just go back to the basics, just like a kid, let's just play. You know, let's make that always the first and foremost thing. Let's have fun doing this. And then, let's make techniques so that you really want to play, you can learn to play well. Enjoy. Exhale and bow forward and feel your instrument. Oh, yeah. Let's hear a sound now. The alignment technique is something you're going to just have to learn. It's just, it's book knowledge. That the back leg has to be stronger and lifting more up. The front leg can descend more. But you're going to have to have discipline. The back leg, it's going to want to bend. You have to say no. Charge it. Front leg, let it soften more. It doesn't have to work so hard. Groins back. Scoop the tailbone, and it's strong. That's not casual. Inner body bright. You lift up, and the arms extend as an extension of the heart, as an extension of the feeling. There's no holding back. Right leg forward, pigeon pose. Now bring your hands on your hips. Now put the hands back down on the floor and either slowly just transition or even jump switch. Whoa! Very good. Or you can simply visualize <laughs> switching in one movement. That's very good. It all works the same. So you're doing, you're doing a pose like this, and you're just, you're just stuck in lines. But when you finally get it, you just extend. The pose sings. It opens. It radiates. You want your pose to just shine with your spirit. You know, in the magazines, Yoga Journal... You can see the forms. You can see if a model is just lines or if the model is shiny, even if they're not that flexible. You see that they're, you see the person offering to their fullest. That's what it's all about. And I start stretching your right leg a little bit more, just like that. You melt down all the way. Just melt your heart down. Soften, soften, soften. Yeah, like that. That's all you do. And see, you'll think, see, <laughs> gravity is going to help you do this pose. You're just going to melt down like that. Now stretch your leg. If you're more flexible, you can stretch the leg. Bend the leg back, and you just carefully go back to downward facing dog, gracefully. Ooh. Ah. Wherever you want, find the place where you can offer your most full beauty from the heart. Squeeze your feet. Spread your toes. Spread your toes for the ultimate. Fully your heart. This is the bhakti practice. Curl your heart, lean back, head back, and just flow. Take your arm over your head. The arrow is the clarity of your mind. Now, pull the armpit back in the socket and curl your head way, way, way back. Then pull the arm back, then bend the elbow, hand to the foot. Help them take their arm back. Now bend the elbow, hand to the foot. Push their foot, push the foot. Hand to the, hand to the foot. This is a more advanced hand balance, and it's called Ekapada Kundanyasana. But the mind gets in the way, because the mind immediately sees it and says, no way. <laughs> I, I, couldn't, I never even could do a push-up before. <laughs> but it's not that. In fact, it's about devotion. If you take the foot over to the side, and you get really liquidy, soft, melty, gooey in the heart, and you just melt down, you're able. Because look, you could start stretching your leg out. It's like you were doing here. Squeeze this leg and come up balancing. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Jump forward lightly. Inhale and come up.
Thank you.